Good morning, Dreyfus, and probably my Calc BC class. After two years, they've managed to drag me back into this seat. I am Alexander Korf. And I'm Madison Willis. We have a lot of news for you today. A lot. But before that, SGA has prepared a reading of the preamble in honor of Freedom Week. So let's check that out. <laughs> Good morning, Dreyfus. We are SGA, and every year in the state of Florida, we celebrate Freedom Week. Please join us in reciting the Declaration of Independence. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their powers from the consent of the governed. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all SGA videos are created awesomely. Thanks, guys. Now that we've gone through that, let's roll the intro. Attention book lovers, are you an avid reader or ready to challenge yourself to read more? Get ready for Battle of the Books, a fun trivia contest where you and your team answer questions about a selection of books you've read. It's all about diving into great stories, working together, and showing off what you know. The online competition starts on January 13th and the grand battle will be held between the top two teams in March, so students will have plenty of time to read, discuss the books, and form teams. This is a great opportunity to explore a variety of captivating books, boost your reading and trivia skills, and enjoy friendly competition all while developing team building skills. Want to know more? Join us for an info meeting on September 25th during lunch in the Media Center. Don't miss out. Get ready to dive into the fun and make sure this is your best reading year yet. For more details, see Mr. Horniak or Ms. Brown in the Media Center. Happy reading and may the best team win. Do you like arts? If you said no out loud to the screen, you're lying because you go to Dreyfus. That being said, the first Arts Club general meeting will be taking place on Tuesday, September 24th in Meyer Hall during lunch. Make sure to stop by to meet the office board and find out how you can contribute to the community. In national news, it's Butterscotch Pudding Day. I've never tried it myself, but this is probably the most political thing we're allowed to talk about right now. That's not entirely true, Alex. Jaguars, if you're 16 to 17, be sure to fill out the voter pre-registration forms. If you're 18 or turning 18 soon, be aware of the upcoming voting registration deadlines. Pray tell, Maddie, what are said deadlines? I'm so glad you asked. If you're voting in person, at a local election office, online, or by mail, you have until October 7th. If you're voting on election day, that'll be November 5th. That's great, because my birthday is November 7th, which means I miss the election by two days. That's tragic, Alex. But you know what isn't tragic? The Senior Dance Solo Concert. It's going to be held tomorrow, September 20th, at 6 p.m. in the Black Box Theater. Go support your fellow dance majors. They work hard. We want to give a big congratulations to digital media senior Eden Cal, whose photograph was awarded second place in an international photo competition. This Friday is the first Harry Details performance of the year. Our team went behind the scenes to see how they're preparing. Let's take a look. As Harry Details prepares for their first show this year, they do so under new leadership. Beginning this school year, senior theater major J.J. Corkin and junior theater major Colton A. Samuel Rex McMacken took over as the Harry Details co-presidents. McMacken became the first junior to assume this position, and both he and J.J. have been a part of the troupe for two years and fostered a passion for it. Well, I just really love improv, and I liked Harry Details. I like doing the shows. I like doing the rehearsals. I've had a lot of experience with improv in the past. Uh, I did two years of improv like before even coming here, and I thought that I knew the games they do well, I knew the procedure well, so I thought that I could take the presidency and do something great with it. With the role comes new responsibilities for Corkin and McMacken, who became closer friends through the presidency. They plan to emphasize the familial aspect of Harry Details more. I really just, I love the troupe 
so much and I feel like there's so much that I could add to it. I love getting, obviously getting to know the people. Um, I love playing the funny games. I love seeing different people's sense of humor that you wouldn't normally see. Mm -hmm. um, I just love doing improv and making stuff up on the spot in general. Mm -hmm. Each year, Harry Details does numerous shows for the school. Although it is improv, lots of preparations go into their performances. Every Thursday, members meet in the green room during lunch where they practice and plan out games like Armando and Pick It Up. So I've known Colton since last year, so he's just really been the same, just a really just goofy person. And I just met JJ and really nice. And they just they both been really good presidents, teaching me all the improv games. Uh, they show good demonstrations and they're able to find us a good game for us to be put in when we do actual shows. And they're just they're really good at what they do and great presidents. Make sure to watch out for new Harry News and to show up in the black box the 20th for the next Harry Details show. This is Griffin Harry Petty reporting for DSOA today. Seeds is open fall submissions. If you're a particularly creative critter, this is your chance to show off those skills. Writing, photography, paintings, music, and any other creative endeavors your heart can imagine are accepted. The deadline is October 7th though, so don't slack. You can find the links to submit on the Seeds Instagram account, at Seeds at DSOA. A reminder to whoever signed up for the Google form, auditions for the DSOA Slam Poetry team will be held today and tomorrow in Ms. Rigdon's room, 1303, during lunch. If you're planning on trying out, please prepare a two to three minute original slam poem. It doesn't need to be memorized, but they are looking for strong, compelling performances. Get excited because it's back. The piano department's annual best-selling impromptu concert has returned. This time around, they've got some fan favorites from the 70s. Go see them Thursday the 26th, Friday the 27th, or Saturday the 28th. Tickets are now on sale for 15 bucks on seatyourself.com, and you can scan the QR code to buy them directly. I've never been to one myself, but I actually happen to have exactly 15 bucks left to my name. In honor of National Hispanic Heritage Month, we'd like to turn our attention to Pitbull. Also known as Mr. Worldwide, Pitbull is a globally renowned Cuban-American rapper, singer, and entrepreneur. Born Armando Christian Perez in Miami, Florida, he has become a symbol of success for the Hispanic community. Over the years, Pitbull has used his platform to celebrate his roots and inspire others, promoting education and cultural pride. His contributions to music and philanthropy make him a notable figure during National Hispanic Heritage Month. Our Dreyfus Lady Jaguars volleyball team continues their winning ways, beating volleyball powerhouse Spanish River on Tuesday. The Lady Jaguars record is now nine wins and two losses. The team is still ranked in the top 25 in the county. Keep up the fantastic work, ladies. Also, there will be a volleyball game today at 6 p.m. against Palm Beach Lakes. Good luck, Jags. Well, that's all we have for you today, Dreyfus. I'm Madison Wallace. And I'm Alexander Korf. And I can't believe my time here is already over. If I don't get barred from angering ever again, I might see you all some other time. Maybe even perhaps at class changes and lunches?